the first, the very first incarnation process that you go through. In fact, your very first visit to Earth, if you like. Right? In this case, because you're all here on Earth. What happens is the soul separates into two halves. Does the soul feel, each soul feel that at that moment? Uh, no, because it's not conscious of its own experience yet. Mm -hmm. Is it like a male and a female heart? Or are there both different There's lots of different combinations. Well, when you think about it, there's only three possible combinations. <laughs> you think about it. If you've got a whole complete and it's separating into half and it's separating into a male or a female body, it can only be either a male and a female, a male and a male, or a female and a female. Can it not? There's no other combination. You said they separate. So they were once one and they separate. They were once right. one soul and they separate into two halves. You are right now one half of your soul. For what purpose do they separate? Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Same more. Yeah. Oh, no. There's months worth more. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> animals and rocks and plants. No. The soul can only incarnate into a human form. So you can't come back as a dog or something? No. For each, <laughs> each half of the soul has an individuality. Each half of the soul has an individuality. I'll just get back to that question about animals. The reason why you sometimes think that somebody might have come back as an animal is because there is a law of attraction at work between the person who's passed and that animal that you feel. Your friend or partner or child or whatever that you may feel is that animal actually is a spirit who loves that animal. Do you follow me? And as a result, you feel that coming from that animal. The animal behaviour will actually change based on the emotions of the people that are surrounding it. And when I say people, I'm not just talking about Earth-based people, I'm talking about the souls that are surrounding. Does that make sense? Sort of? No? Your question statement? Yes? Yeah, I'm just saying about the, the soul, uh, half souls have individuality. And, uh, they only have individuality once they've incarnated. Because they, when you say individuality, let's, to term, let's separate two things. There's individuality and then there's individualization. <coughs> individuality to me is like differences in personality. All of us are all individuals. Your halves of your soul are individuals, if you like, of the one whole. Right? So there's different qualities in each half of the soul that when it emerges will make the one complete. They are called, what do you reckon? Soulmates. Soulmates. So, um... So when God created the whole soul, the passions and desires that are in the soul, um, can, are they similar then because of the soulmate male female thing? They'll be similar and then complementary. Complementary, uh, that's the word, yeah. yeah.